Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a um, project share featuring um, one of the dies from the March release from scrapdavidesigns.com. And so I want to share with you what I created. It's another one, I created a couple things. Um, so what I'm gonna share with you today is the suitcase shadow box. It's this die set here. Okay. So my previous project that I made, where is it? Where is it, where is it, where is it? So this is the first one that I made. And I made it, you know, the shadow box. So it's got, you know, acetate here and I have a bunch of layers of stuff inside, chipboard and stickers and, you know, ephemera pieces and all kinds of stuff, so. It's so cute, and I've seen um, some of the design team members also making like, um, you know, like putting a picture in the background. So what a cute way to, you know, give somebody a picture or something. They can just, you know, set it on their shelf and <clears throat> have a, a pretty look at with a picture inside and stuff too. So that's really fun. So this is the first one I made. <coughs> there goes my <coughs> throat, of course, because I started talking. Okay, so I wanted to show you this next one that I decided to make with it. So here this one is. So now this one, um, I decided to make a mini album out of it, okay? So I just have it tied together up here. So let me just quickly untie this and I'll show you. the inside <clears throat> okay so here's what it looks like without the ribbon tying it and I just have a, a you know full nose clip up here with some trim on it this was going to be how I closed it but then once I started putting a little bit of that decoration inside then then it was I didn't want it to be it still probably would have fit but I didn't want it to be too tight you know clumping that together so I just clipped it on the front piece here so anyway I can just undo that and so here's what it looks like um, all the um, you know the strap pieces it's got the layering pieces this word travel comes in the set so I have it up on foam and then I just made a little cluster of you know um, chipboard and ephemera and stuff and then I used the little banner that also comes with it along with the layering piece for the banner so just a cute little cluster there <clears throat> on the bottom. I put some of these to have it look like as so if it was still, it could still stand up, you know, if it was still clipped together. I think that's so cute how to, you know, display your cute little mini album on a shelf or something. <clears throat> okay, so let me show you inside. So this is just minimally decorated on the inside because I wanted to put pictures in, but I don't have any right now to put in. So... <clears throat> I will add more to it after I, you know, add, add my pictures, so anyway. The collection I'm using is Round Trip. I thought that would be appropriate for the, um, for the suitcase, but you could use any collection. This can be for any season, any trip. Um, just so cute. So, very versatile die. So I have all these little pages. I used, um, this is a scallop uh, what's it called? <coughs> it is called Oh Heart Circle Nesting Dies from Scrap Diva. So this is what I use for some of my um, like photo mats. So I used some of the big scallops, some of the little scallops, some of just the plain circles. So I use that in there. <coughs> and then I also for this oops for this like photo mat right here. This is a piece from this die set, which is called the doily handbag. And it has this um, layering piece right here that has these little, three little hearts on the top and the bottom corners cut out and it's stitched. So I used that because it was the side, you know, I was just looking through my dies to see what would um, work good size wise for a, 
for the photo mats that I already had. I mean, I could cut some out easily, just plain, you know, but I wanted to use some that were from dies that I already had, so. So I used that there, just a bow I had in my stash. Here's the big doily, I just put that on right there. Oh, my little piece came off. Dang it, let me have to glue that back on. Anyway, <laughs> this was right here. So that's how that looked. So I'm glad this happened now and not later. So anyway, I'll, that's that piece there. Okay, and then this up here, here's another one of the um, rectangle mats. Um, and then I just attached a couple tickets. They're loose so I can still, everything that I attached, like this was only attached over here. So, and so I could still put the pictures, you know, down behind there. Um, I used one of the, uh, I used some of the butterflies from the butterfly bag topper from this month's release also, just because if there's a set you can use without the bag topper. So that's what I do. I have a couple layers up here. Okay. And then on this page, I just put a cute little flower um, ribbon piece across here, just hot glued it. And then I tucked in um, a set of the, um, these little tags that I can add some little pictures into. So that's just tucked right down in there. And then just a little ephemera piece, like I said, a just minimal decoration so I could still add my photos and and then I could add more on top if I want. So another one of the rectangles. These are some flowers that were gifted to me in my stash. So I just layered them up here. And then this cute little <clears throat> paper clip, the airplane paper clip from the um, round trip collection. Okay, and then on the back side, um, I used, this is the pocket that comes with the, um, let's see, I used the one from the uh, Loaded Pocket Medium, um, which is, right here, so the pocket's in there. Okay, so I just cut that out of the um, collection paper and added that on right there. And then uh, just a piece, um, uh, ephemera piece I tacked on here. And then inside down here in this pocket, um, I um, added a couple of, um, you know, other little pieces from the, from the collection that I'll add um, pictures on to. And then this was a old layered up um, brad that I had in my stash from some other collection, but it looked good with this, so I added on there. That way I could, you know, spin it and add pictures. I can, I can add pictures to front and back, too, and then I can just stick more down in here, too. So anyway, I just tucked that inside there. And then, oh, and then making it like this, it let me, um, you know, gave it to where I could just kind of attach it right there to the pocket. And so then this one, I added some of the tickets and I just attached them on, you know, each end. And then I, there's another one of the little um, doily, circle doilies from the collection. And just some, some more ephemera pieces and chipboard pieces. This was from that, um, the inside of this. So I um, put them together with a brad, this cute little um, dragonfly brad. And I just kind of spread them out. So that'll be fun to add some little pictures in right there. And then they just can just tuck in. <clears throat> right there behind the tickets and then this is just a kind of a plain piece so I can add my pictures either like here on the circles or across here they can always stick out doesn't really matter and then there's a re rectangle here and this cute little strawberry um, and then it's again not attached it's only attached over here on this side so I can still tuck stuff down in there so I just tuck some of this for later when I add the pictures and then there's the back Put my little sticker on it and there it is so it's so cute so so cute i love it so that will be fun to display on you know like where i put my um, mini albums and stuff i could just clip it on there and um have it just displayed sitting on there so i think it turned out so cute there's so many ways to use this die um as a mini album um as a shadow box like I did on my first one. 
just with some you know cute fun things in there it's fun it's fun to make it a also a you know like a to display a picture also you can just like put it on the back ground there in the back which you could still you could just um you know, not put this down the center so that it, you know you still you see your picture better you can make it a shaker i didn't make either one of these a shaker but anyway such a fun die so anyway those are my that's my newest project with this die set um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below, and I will answer them as soon as I can. And thank you so much for watching. Um, Erica's website will be linked below along with um, my affiliate code and the links to the dies that I used in this video. And be sure if you decide to pick anything up, be sure to use my coupon code POLKA10. It will save you 10% off your entire purchase through Scrap Diva. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back again soon. Bye.